Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. The ultimate team of the season is done. The sweatiest weekend league that I've ever been involved in. And did we do enough? The next 10 games are going to be coming up for you very, very soon. Uh, I just want to say I do apologize if I appear to be miserable in some of these clips. I was just trying to play my games as I would if I wasn't streaming. But I was streaming, so I didn't really commentate too much. I was just trying to channel all my energy into the game. And the less I speak about the gameplay, the better I do. Because as soon as you start, it's very hard to contain yourself. And then every little thing annoys you. But just focus on your game. And if you're good enough, you're going to come away with the results. So I, I want to also say that I went and purchased Mbappe. I went with my gut instinct. I said to you boys, like Eusebio just didn't feel right to play make and drop into the midfield. I wasn't getting as much as I was expecting from the card. So Mbappe, I picked up the foot birthday version for 3,750,000 something around there. And when I came to sell, because as you know, I want to switch up my whole weekly side anyway uh, for next week, he went for 3,849,000. Which, uh, yeah, the market has gradually gone up. I think Ronaldo at his lowest was 3.4, like 3.5. And now all of these are selling for 3,640,000. I added that one to the watch list a minute ago. So for our new Foot Champs team, I'm thinking of using Team of the Season Ronaldo, Dybala, Tevez, Fernandez in like a 4 1 2 on 2. So not only test out those other team of the seasons, but have a new formation for the full 30 games. And, and, and that's what I really want to do from now on. But anyway, um, let's see how we got on. I didn't really want to let you guys down and not get the team of the season pack. I was 16 and 4. I was stressing. I'm not going to lie, I was stressing. But if you can support the video today and leave a like, if we can aim for 2.5 uh, 2 million, 2,500, uh, it would be sweet. If you want to leave a like, please do. And if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button. If you want a game code, G2A, link below, use the code Fuji. And let's see how we go on. Straight in, first game on Sunday. Big teams coming at us. Five star weak foots. They're just really meta. Uh, I think that's the difference this week. Really meta teams. Well built. Go. Go. Go on Mbappe. Yo, find Di Maria. Near post. The composure. There it is. There it is. Across goal. Across goal. Across goal. That's what we're lacking. That's what we were lacking with Eusebio. Let's go. 45th minute. Exactly that play. Come on. What well on Mbappe. Through, 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 through. Good ball, good ball. Mbappe. Mbappe. And it's another Richarlson. It's another Neymar. Lehman in goal, a little bit different. Weird squads. Go on. Di Maria. Oosh. Use him there, though. This is, this is the goal. This is the goal. Across goal, across goal, across goal. Mbappe. Turn up for me. Come on. 2 0. Turn up for me. Again, Ramos were played. Go, 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 go. Oh, man. Oh! Campbell, I, I, I knew that it was good signs playing against you tonight. Wonderful. He is a wonky-ass defender. Go on, finish that. Good goal. That's nice. That's the rage quit. That's the first one we're getting today. All right, game three. And we're facing uh, Giovinco, who's going to be awkward to pick up. They was coming. <laughs> and Bappe's hit the post, of course he has. <sighs> I've lost another pen. That's true, I don't have. Yeah. I mean, the man's got regular St. Maxima in his starting 11. And he's probably still going to put up a, a fight.
There we go. Good start to the game. Di Maria, nah, off balance. Okay. Mbappe's there. Chip it, back post, back post. Di Maria, header, header, header. Oh. The third goal might be the rage quit. Come on. Mbappe, a cross goal. Yeah, he likes them, actually. He likes those shots. Next one. Maybe this guy will quit. Or not. His team looks amazing. What a ball. Well done. De Jong, good ball that. Too much space. Good. Nice goal. Oh dear. Next game, what are we facing? 4-5-1. Our team is really good. There's Atal. There's De Jong. Nice midfield. Good defense. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, Lee Maria. Ooh. Damn, I'm on side as well. GG's. Good goal. Oh, good to defend that. Play. De Jong. Well done. Well done. Though. Thank you. <clears throat> right. What are we facing? Road to glory. Damn. That's a weird team. He must be good with it then. Go on. First time. All right, I'll do that. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Take touch, Di Maria. Good stuff, thank you. Whoa, and then you call it. Oh, EA. Then you call it. Of course you do. Oh, no, he's choked. What a finish from De Jong as well. I feel bad, but that was on him. If I scored the other one, I would have felt bad, but that's from him. He passed me the ball. Let's go. Good goal. Potential last game. R9 Mares. I don't like playing against Mares. That's a solid, solid team. He's got De Jong carrying the ball as well. Really is good. Good run. Finish well on Quincy. Positioning Mbappe. That turn, the finesse. Great run. Oh. 
I couldn't get under control quick enough. Oh, go on, Mbappe. Boro, near post. Ooh, two games to spare as well. Give me Ronaldo in a pack. <laughs> give me bloody Messi. Come on. Go on. For, Christ, for that grinds, give me something worthwhile, yeah? Come on. I could not... I can't choke. You can't choke an ultimate team of the season pack. I couldn't do it. Ultimate team of the season, that weren't happening. We were going to focus, we were going to push, and we were going to get it. We weren't going to choke it. We did it. We clutched up. 23 wins with two games to spare. And I did not want to let you down. For the ultimate team of the season, I wanted the best possible rewards that I could provide. I mean, Elite 1 or Top 100. But for my standard right now on the game, considering what we have to put up with, Elite 3 is big. That team in a season pack, I hope that it makes the content even more enjoyable. But wow, the spirit that we had on Sunday, after being 3-0 down or 3-1 down in one of the games against a very good play, he had a tricky attack in the first half. But then I went a little bit more positive. I started making changes to my tactics, five depth, six players inside the box. And I tell you what, now the sweaty weekend leagues are over, I'm going to play a little bit more positive because every single time I change my tactics to start putting on pressure, it's a different type of player that comes out. And I pulled that game back to 4-3, scored some really nice goals. My link-up play, my composure in the midfield, it was on point. The only loss that I took was in a penalty shootout after my opponent scored an early goal in the first like five minutes. And then I had about 10 shots on target and I couldn't find the second. So I am just so thankful that we were able to get Elite 3. But wow, we started the run with 16-4 and four, and we finished on 23 and... and and I didn't feel like I was going to take an L. And I, and I think that's the mindset, right? On Saturday, I was questioning what the hell was going on. On Sunday, I didn't commentate. I didn't speak about really the gameplay too much. Some of the things annoyed me. But I was just so zoned in and focused, like how I would play off camera. And we did it. Let's go. And I tell you something. Now that weekend league is over, I am so... Like, I'm so grateful that there's like a weight that's lifted off my shoulders. I can now like start having fun on the game again, test out tactics, bring in players that I haven't used. But the one thing that I really want to do is unlock Modric because I loved his team of the year on like FIFA. What was that? Like uh, 17. Uh, he was so, so good on the game and he's received this flashback card for goddamn cheap. So I'm going to definitely be doing Modric. Um, I, I, I think that... For the price, like 200,000 with these stats, like how is he so cheap? High tie work rates, four star, four star. All right, he doesn't have the mad sprint speed, but playing him in a 4 1 2 1 2 as like a left center mid, uh, he should be awesome. The finish in 77, all right, maybe that's why he's a little bit on the cheaper side and his defensive awareness is only 72, but who cares? So I'm definitely going to do him. And then in the attack, I want Ronaldo, maybe Tevez, Fernandez, Dybala. Modric and then fiddle about with uh, with the back four That's what I want to do Mertens. I mean, yeah, I also want to do Mertens, but I don't know how to get chemistry I would knew do you know what I could get Mertens and Ronaldo instead of Tevez. I might do that actually Mertens Ronaldo D, but yeah, I think I'm gonna do that instead of using Tevez We'll see we'll see but anyway, I did sell I did sell Mbappe because I wanted to free up the coins. So now we have four million We've got upgrade packs to come later today. So in tomorrow's episode, it should be really, really enjoyable. I'm going to start buying my new players. And now we can really enjoy the account. Obviously, I still want to do well in the weekend league. As you know, I, you can't just get rid of that competitive nature. I do want to do well. I want to get Elite 3 every week. But I don't I don't want that added like pressure. If I don't get it, then it's the be all and end all, you know. And that's how I felt. Like if I didn't get those team of the season rewards during team of the season, it would have been a failure, but we did. And we clutched up and you know me, every single time team of the season is out and these uh, packs are up for grabs, we don't fail. We clutch up, we win. Thank you very much for watching boys. I will see you tomorrow. Every, every, every single player in this team is gonna be sold. Uh, Di Maria though, you are the man. Seriously, Di Maria, clutched up his positioning the goals the importance of, of the goals he's just so good but i will sell him i'll sell him promes is gone shout out to promes wonderful he was sick stuck by him for two weekend leagues and this guy is the best left back on the game i don't have any doubt about that
This guy is absolutely phenomenal. The way he makes tackles, the way he reads the play, stupidly good. He's my favorite right back. He's the best midfielder. <laughs> like, this is the team that I wanted to grind with. And we did it. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Team out. Peace.